my name is Ikshan Srivastava and welcome to the CAD Academy. In this tutorial, we are going to plot the EG signal in MATLAB. So for that, I have already downloaded the EEG signal dataset from Kegel.com. Uh, I'll provide the link in the description box so you also can download the dataset from there. So let's get it started. First of all, we have some basic command in MATLAB that I'm writing here. All right. Now, I'll read the data from this. Any of this, I can read any of the data from here. So, first of all, uh, I'll name the data as data, and to read the data as this data is a table. So, we'll use the command read table, and inside the inverted commas, we will write the name of the file. So let's read this file d underscore n underscore f dot csv. All right. So let's run this section. So here you can see that the data is right here. So when I show you this data, so here you can see that this one is the timestamps. This is TP9, AF7, AF8, and TP10. These four are the electrodes that are reading the brain signal from particular location. The sixth one is RIDOX, so which is basically a noise only. We are going to ignore the first column and this sixth column. So basically, the EEG signals that we have or the EEG signal stream that we have are TP9, AF7, AF8, and TP10. So let's plot these signals. So to plot, we use the command that is plot. We have to plot the data, but not the table. We are going to plot a particular column. Let's plot the column number. Two, because in the first column we have timestamps which are basically the time values so we are not going to consider that so we are plotting the second column and this plot commands this plot command doesn't allow to plot a table so for that we have to convert this table into array by using the command table to array all right so let's plot the second column of the data so here we go this is the EEG signal that we have at the location of TP9 because we have plotted the second column which was representing the data set of TP9 now let's plot another column also plot data taking the all rows so column here then I'm taking the third column and this so we are plotting another plot so for that we have to write figure here now here we go now we have two different figures this one was representing tp9 this next column is representing af7 so we can provide the title also here like title uh, this one was tp9 all right and control c Control V and the next one was AF7. Now we'll again run the program and here we go. So now you can see that we have a title here also. So TP9, this one, and AF7 is this one. So these are the EEG signal that we have. 
plot it we can plot another rest of the two columns also so like plot data underscore plot data column four then we have this you know uh, figure and title also so just copy paste here the next one was AF8 and for the fourth one we'll do it like this the fifth column we had TP10 all right so let's run the program again now we have four different figures okay so now here you can see that at tp9 location we had a signal something like this at af7 location we have signal something like this and for AF8 and at TP10 we have a signal something like this. So this is how we plot the EEG signal into MATLAB. In next tutorial we will do some amazing things on the EEG signal so stay tuned for that.